that done? How do you make a ball sizzle like that? There's a recent student and he was averaging a pitching wedge, 88 yards. So here's his lesson, and here's how he did. I always find the looks priceless. Over 151 yards. So how in the world do you feel the swing? You know, I've been showing some people things for 15 years. <clears throat> and one of the best tools was a gift that I got from uh, Roger Anderson, um, who's been on the channel before as a student. He's a friend of mine. So he made me this little device and it's from, uh, called Gemline is the official one online but all it is is a weight and the weight sits on the shaft or the handle of the club so that you literally can just have it balanced like this toe up balances toe up because of the weight so what's important about that is that you start to feel weight as Sean Clements always said we're we're human beings are weight experts. We're experts in gravity. So if you swing this smoothly at, let's say waist level, you've got a 90 degree angle between your forearm and your elbows tucked properly. And you got the 90 degrees between your forearm and, and the shaft. You would turn like this. It's just like a baseball swing. You see how flat and level the club head stays and you can swing this really nicely you can feel it and it, uh, it can't wobble around on you most people who first grab it are wobbling it's like a snake in their hands this is just very simple and you swing it like 10 times and just get used to that weight and then you can flip the weight off and then you actually hit a ball, uh, which you can't do here in the kitchen and it's about zero degrees outside today. So we won't be doing that, but it's that simple. And you get up then and mimic that same feel. And it's the best way of teaching someone how to hit a ball. In lessons, I'll have people pick up, you know, anywhere from 40, 60 yards, but it's, I'll have them swing this, um, get them to feel it. And then I have them point in the shaft to get this on the right angle where the handle's up in target side of the ball. You know, with the hosel right over the ball. And then as you lean down, you're going to be dead center. So that's how we're whacking it so darn hard and straight. And instantly you'll find that you're a ball striker where you never were before. And that's how it's being done. And the device itself is very simple. It's just an electro connection. I have this one on the shaft. You can put it up on the handle. You can also use a wrench. Uh, typical crescent wrench works too. You can put that on if you just wanted to feel what I'm talking about and just get it to balance, you know, instead of drooping toe down like this, get it to be up here like this. And there's just a simple electrical connector quarter inch th threaded rod. And if you want to, and you basically have a threaded rod and some weight here, here's washers. And if you want to know exactly how to make it, I'd recommend a channel called uh, McManus Golf. He tells you how to do the poor man's gem line or go buy a gem line. They're expensive, they're about 140 bucks. Um, 
you probably get a discount on that, but that's just in general, that's what they cost. Uh, but you can make one, you know, let's say this costs about $10. So go to McManus Golf, um, find out how to put one together, uh, and just give it a try. It's, it's what I do. It's how I swing. It's, it's, it's the feels, you get in balance, and it, it, it feels like there isn't any weight, and the shaft isn't bobbing all over the place, and you're staying on, you know, on the arc, with a very square club head. And you can finally feel it. And then when you take it off, you can feel the same thing. And you just duplicate the feel. And all of a sudden, you know what the heck we're all talking about. You don't worry about the body and stuff. The body is a weight expert. And you definitely understand already how to throw a ball or how to do certain things. You know, how to, how to whack something with a club. And we don't think about it. You know, we put a golf ball down and our mind goes crazy and all of a sudden we can't hit it. Um, so anyway, give it a try. I highly recommend it. I use it in lessons. It's a great, great tool and I thank Roger for giving that to me. And we'll go from there. Keep improving.